Okay, so hello and welcome back. So in this video we will uh, basically do a couple of illustrations. So let's get started with, with illustration number one. And I think we need a little bit more space here, so. Okay, so illustration number one. Illustration number one. We have considered the function f of x is equal to x plus 10 f of x is equal to x plus 10. We want to find the limit of this function at x is equal to 5. To 5. We want to find the limit of the limit of f of x as x tends to 5 or we can say also we can say find the limit of the function the limit of f of x at x is equal to 5. So when you say the limit of the function at x is to, as a, at x is equal to 5, that means that the limit of f of x as x tends to 5. So that, that must be understood. <clears throat> now what we can do, um, What we can do is basically um, find a or create a table of values of this function very close to x is equal to 5, meaning that I can say that basically um, I can say that, for example, this is this is, for example, x and this is f of x. And at x is equal to 5, of course, this function is, is, is actually defined at x is equal to 5. So I can simply, um, evaluate the, the value of the function at x is equal to 5. But that would not be enough for the limit. Meaning that I have to go if, if I assume that x is equal to 5 is right here. So for example, then I could say that I would approach x is equal to 5 from the left and approach x is equal to 5 from the right and see what happens when I get very close to x is equal to 5. And so on the right hand side, I can, <clears throat> if you assume that, for example, this is a number line and this is x is equal to 5, then I can approach basically x is equal to 5 from this side and I can approach x is equal to 5 from this side. Meaning that, um, meaning that, that for example, I could, <coughs> I could, I could approach x at, for example, 5.1 and see what happens. I could approach x as get a little bit closer, for example, 5.01 and a little bit closer 5.001 and that would be basically the values of x to the right of x is equal to 5 and of course by the same logic I can get closer and closer to x is equal to 5 from the left meaning that I can I can basically get I can set x is equal to 4.9 or 4. Point, for example 95 or 4.99 or 4. Point, for example 995 for example <coughs> and so for these values i can calculate the value of the function and see what the value of the function is at these values so i know that i know that f of x I know that f of x is equal to x plus 10, if I'm not mistaken. So, since the value of the function is x plus 10, then the value of the function at x is equal to 
4.9 becomes 14.9. But this value would be 14.95. But this would be 14.99. And 14.995. And 15.01. And 15.01. And 15.15.1. So, so what that means is that, as you can see, as I'm getting closer and suppose that this point, this, this point over here is x is equal to 5, for example. So what that means is that as I'm getting closer to 5 from the left hand side, the values of the function are getting closer and closer to 15. 14.9, 14.95, 14.99. 14.995 and so on and so forth getting closer and closer to 15 and from this side the values of the function are getting closer and closer to 15 as you can see 15.1 15.01 and and you and of course you can note that basically from the left from the left hand side I'm I'm basically uh, increasing the values of, of x, 4.9, 4.95, 4 4.995, 4 as I'm getting closer to x is equal to 5. From the left, from the right hand side, I, I'm, 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 I'm actually decreasing the values of x as I'm getting closer to x is equal to 5. So here I have increasing, increasing these values. Here I have, I am decreasing these values. And here the values are increasing. Here the values are increasing. Here the values are decreasing. Meaning that on the, on the, on the right, on the right hand side of, uh, on the left hand side of x is equal to 5, x is, x is increasing and, 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 and y is increasing. Meaning that the function has a, has a, uh, um, as I'm, as I'm moving towards 5. So the function has a, has a positive slope. On the, on the right hand side of x is equal to 5, as I'm moving towards x is equal to 5, Meaning that on the number line, I'm, if this is x is equal to 5, as, as I'm moving towards x is equal to 5, towards 0 basically, meaning that I'm moving towards the negative direction of the number line. As I'm decreasing x, y is decreasing. That means that, uh, again, the function is, um, has a positive slope, right? And, uh, and so based on this, I can say that, I can say that as I'm increasing, as I'm moving towards the values of x is equal to 5 from the, from the left hand side, the values of the function are tending towards 15. As I'm getting closer and closer to 5 from the right hand side, the values of the function are tending towards 15. And therefore, I can say that, uh, um, I can say that basically we can deduce that um, from the table, this is important, from the table we can deduce that, we can deduce that, that basically that the value of, of f of x, that the value of f of x at x is equal to 5, at x is equal to 5 should be greater than 14.995, should be greater than 14.995 and, and less than 15 point and smaller than 
and smaller than 15.001 assuming nothing dramatic happens between assuming that nothing dramatic happens between basically 4 point x is equal to 4.995 and x is equal to and x is equal to 5.001 It's reasonable to assume that the value of the f of, of f of x at x is equal to 5 um, as dictated by the numbers to the left of 5 is 15. So then you can say that it is reasonable. It is reasonable to assume that The value of f of x, the value of f of x at x is equal to 5 as dictated by the numbers to the left of 5 as dictated by the numbers by the numbers to the left of 5 is basically 15 because you're you're getting closer and closer to 15 as you can see right here is 15 is 15 that is that is basically the limit of f of x as x tends to 5 from the left is equal to 15. So it is reasonable to assume that the value of f of x at x is equal to 5 is as dictated by the numbers to the left of 5 is 15. That is at limit the limit of f of x as x tends to 5 from the left is equal to 15. And also you can say that similarly you can say that similarly, uh, when x approaches 5 from the right, when x approaches 5 from the right, f of x should be taking the value 15. f of x should be taking the value the value 15 that is so what this statement is saying is that similarly when x approaches 5 from the right when x approaches 5 from the right you are getting closer and closer to 15 as you can see here 15.1 15.01 15.001 1, and so on and so forth so you can say that basically the limit of f of x as x tends to 5 from the right is equal to 15. And hence it's likely that the left hand limit of f of x and the right hand limit of f of x are both equal to 15. And hence it is likely that the limit of f of x as x tends to 5 from the left that is basically the left hand limit of the left hand limit of limit of f of x as x tends to 
tends to 5. So the left hand limit of f of x as x tends to 5 means basically the limit of f of x as x tends to 5 from the left, right? So it is likely that the limit of f of x as x tends to 5 from the left and the limit of f of x as x tends to 5 from the right, which is the right hand limit of the right hand limit of limit of uh, f of x as x tends to as x tends to 5 meaning that the, the limit of f of x as x tends to 5 from the right are are both equal to 15 are both equal to to 15 thus you can say that the limit of f of x as x tends to 5 from the left is equal to the limit of f of x as x tends to 5 from the right is equal to the limit of f of x as x tends to 5 is equal to 15. <coughs> Now this conclusion about the limit being equal to 15 is somewhat strengthened by seeing the graph of this function which is given in figure 2.16 chapter 2. In this figure we note that as x approaches 5 from either right or left the graph of the function approaches the, four, the point 5 comma 15. Now if you have basically f of x is equal to x plus 10 x plus 10 so the function that you would have would be 1, 2, 3, was it x plus 10? Yes. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And this would be the graph of your function. And this would be the graph of your function. This is y, this is x. And this would be, this line would be f of x is equal to, f of x is equal to x plus 10. Now at x is equal to 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the value of the function is approach, the value of the function is actually approaching The value of the function is actually approaching this value, which is, which is basically 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and this is 15. And this is basically 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and therefore this point is 5, 15. <coughs> and this point is 5 comma 15 and what that means is that as x is approaching is approaching x is equal to 5 from the left from the right or from the left as you can see the values of the function are approaching basically either are approaching the value 15 and therefore you can say that the limit of f of x is equal to as x tends to 5. Based on this, based on this, this, this graph, you can say that as you, as you approach x from the, x from the right, the value of the function is approaching 15, as you can see. So then you can say that the limit of f of x as x tends to 5, from the right is actually equal to 15 and also you can say that and you can say that over here as you approach x is equal to 5 from the left 
the value of the function is approaching again the same value. So the limit of f of x as x tends to 5 from the left is equal to again 15. And therefore, based on these two, since the two values are actually equal, you can say that the limit of f of x as x tends to 5 is actually equal to is actually equal to 15. And that is basically um, is actually that is that, that that's basically that. And one more thing that we can, that we note here is that basically in this function f of x is equal to x plus 10, the value of the function at x is equal to 5, when x is equal to 5, then f of 5 is equal to 5 plus 10, which is actually equal to 15, which means that, which means that the value of, which means that you can say that the limit of f of x when x tends to 5 from the right is equal to the limit of f of x when x tends to 5 from the left is equal to the limit of f of x as x tends to 5 is equal to f of 5 is equal to 15. Now this doesn't happen all the time but which means that basically this part need not necessarily be the case but if this part if this is equal to this then you can say that if the if the right hand limit of the function is equal to the left hand limit of the function then you can say that basically the limit of the function at as x tends to a exists and is equal to the value of either this one or this one because then these two would be of course equal so that's basically one illustration and um, so now let's do a couple more illustrations and um, then uh, these will help you basically get a feel for the concept of limit otherwise um, i do understand that the that I mean the, the the these the statements that I write here are not exactly logically not all of them at least not all of them is are not all of them are exactly logically unambiguous or correct some of them have problems <clears throat> but I suppose that's the most that's the best way that you can start at this start talking talking about limits and then over time um, anybody will be able to um, develop a some sort of feel for limits otherwise it's a i mean by nature it's a it's some sort of it's a concept that 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 cannot be can that cannot be exactly defined uh, it's just not possible because i mean and, and the reason why i'm saying this and and i don't really know this for with hundred cer certain certainty but i would guess that actually this whole concept of limit was uh, modeled after nature meaning that they Meaning that Newton seed saw this and some other mathematicians probably. But, but, but mainly Newton, let's assume that it was, that, 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 it was, that it was Newton that made the whole thing about calculus and limits and, and so on and so forth. I would assume that Newton saw this in nature and then uh, somehow fit this into physics and then, and then it must have some, some, somehow uh, found its way from from physics into mathematics and then from mathematics into other sciences otherwise it's it's it's, it's a kind of a concept that <clears throat> is not very uh, it doesn't really it's so um, it, it is so um, I don't even have a word for it 
it doesn't fit into any description or or definition or, or anything like that well of course you can provide many great definitions for the limit but still the definition would be would have problems <coughs> So now let's do a couple more illustrations here. But at the end of the day, of course, I said all of this about, about uh, the, the concept of limit and, and the fact that it cannot be defined really. And, uh, but, but it works. It works all the time. So it, there has to be something there that makes it work. So, <laughs> okay. So now is another illustration. Illustration number two. We have. So let's consider the function f of x is equal to. Illustration number number two. Let's consider the function f of x is equal to x cubed. <coughs> consider the function f of x is equal to x cubed. And let's try to find the limit of this function. Find the limit of the limit of f of x at x is equal to 1. Now proceeding as in the previous case, we can do a table of values related to this function. So what we can do is that we can um, we want to find the values, the, 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 the limit of the function at x is equal to 1, which means that we need to, um, we need to see the, we need to actually understand the behavior of the function around x is equal to 1, which means that I will, I will do this, this table of values here and, uh, Basically, this is x and this is f of x. And we will get closer and closer to x is equal to 1 from the right and from the left. So, so for example, one way to get closer, let's say that this is, for example, x is equal to 1. And this is approaching x is equal to 1 from the right. This is approaching x is equal to 1 from the left. <coughs> Now, one way to do this is, uh, for example, let's say that x is equal to, um, for example, 0 0.9. x is equal to 1, so 0 0.9, for example. Let's say that x is equal to 0 0.9. Then we can, we can also try 0 0.99. Then we can try 0 0.999. And, from the other side, uh, we can basically we can we can try 1.1 for example, and for example, getting a little bit closer to one would be 1.01 for example, 1.01 and 1.001 for example. Now, if you if you raise these values to the third power, 0 0.9 to the third power is 0 0.729. Is 0. 0. 0.729. 0 0.99 to the third power is 0 0.970299. Is 0. 970299 and this is 0 0.999 and 0 0.999 would give you 0 0.999 to the third power would give you 0 
9970029999 now if i raise 1.1 to the to the to the third power that would give you 121 with three decimal places which is 0 0.121 Oh, to the third power. That was the second power. I'm sorry. So to the third power would be 1.1 to the third power is 1.331. Is 1.331. 1.01 1 .01 to the third power. 1.01 1 .01 to the third power is equal to 1.030301. 1.030301 and 1.001 1 .001 to the third 1.001 1 .001 to the third power would be would be 1.0030001 1.0030001 1.0030001 to the third so from this table you can see that as I'm getting closer to 1 and this is, let's say that this is x is equal to 1. As I'm getting closer to x is equal to 1 from the right, of course I'm, I'm uh, decreasing these values. I'm decreasing these values. And um, these values are 1.3, 1.03, 1.03, 1.003. These values are also decreasing meaning that past x is equal to 1 the function is increasing right because because the values of uh, because I'm as I'm approaching as I'm approaching the negative excess as I'm decreasing x, y is decreasing. That means that the function is, is increasing if you're moving towards the towards the positive axis. So here the function is increasing, and the value of the function is seems to be getting closer and closer to one. Now, as I increase these values, as I increase these values what happens is that these values are 0 0.7, 0 0.97, 0 0.997 0 0.997 and so these values are increasing that means that that means that basically uh, as I'm moving towards positive x as I'm increasing x, f of x is increasing which means that well the function is increasing and the value of the function is getting closer and closer to 1. So from this I can say that uh, basically the we can deduce that the, the value of f of x at x at x is equal to 1 should be something greater than this value and something uh, less than this value. Right? Uh, something less than this value and that is having the assumption that between 0 0.999 and 1.001 .001, nothing dramatic happens in the in the output of the function so so then we can say that from the table from the table we can deduce that Okay, so so then we can say that from this table we, we deduce that we can deduce that we can deduce that the value of f of x at x is equal to one that the value of f of x at at x is equal to one should be greater than this value should be greater than greater than 0 0.997002999 and 
less than and less than 1.00300301 and that is basically assuming that that is assuming that that nothing dramatic happens that nothing dramatic happens between between x is equal to 0 0.999 and x is equal to 1.001 so then we can say that we can say that it's it is reasonable to assume that the value of f of x at x is equal to 1 dictated by the numbers to the left of 1 is uh, 1. It's reasonable to assume that, of course. It is reasonable to assume that to assume that the value of that the value of f of x at x is equal to 1 dictated by dictated by the numbers by the numbers um, to the left of 1 to the left of 1 is is one that is now the same the same statement when I say that it's reasonable to assume that the value of f of x at x is equal to one dictated by the numbers to the left of one is equal to one the same statement would be the limit of f of x as x tends to 1 from the from the left is equal to 1. Of course there is no dot here. And also similarly you can say that when x approaches 1 from the right f of x should be taking the value 1. Similarly, uh, when x approaches 1 from the right, when x approaches 1 from the right, from the right, f of x should be taking value 1, f of x should be taking should be taking the value the value 1 that is uh, that is the limit of f of x as x tends to 1 from the as x tends to 1 from the right is equal to 1 and that is based on the numbers that we see over here So, and then we can say that hence it's likely that hence it is likely that the left hand limit of f of x that the left hand limit of f of x and the right hand limit of f of x and the right hand limit of f of x are both equal to 1. are both equal to 
both equal to 1. Thus, the limit of f of x as x tends to 1 from the left is equal to the limit of f of x as x tends to 1 from the right is equal to the limit of f of x as x tends to 1, which is equal to 1. And of course, this conclusion about the limit being equal to 1 is somewhat strengthened by seeing the graph of this function, which is given in this, in the, in the following uh, figure. So this conclusion about the limit of the limit of f of x as x tends to as x tends to 1 is equal to 1 is somewhat strengthened by is somewhat somewhat strength strengthened by st strengthened by the by seeing the the graph the graph of the function of f of x and you know that the graph of f of x is basically a a graph like this and this graph is basically something like this so you have one and one negative one and negative one so you have these two points zero and zero and then the function would be and then the function would be some function like this So f of x is equal to f of x is equal to x cube is a function like this. This is f of x is equal to x cube. And you can see that at, at, at x is equal to 1, the value of the function is equal to 1, exactly equal to 1. And so when we approach 1 from the right-hand side, what happens is that the values of the function are approaching to, to 1. And when you approach basically 1 from the left-hand side, the values of the function are approaching, are approaching 1. And, uh, well, of course, both of those from the, when, when you approach, when you approach x from the right hand side, the value, the, 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 the value, the value of the function is approaching one from the left hand side one, meaning from both sides are approaching the same value. And therefore, you can say that, um, you can say that basically the limit of f of x as x tends to 1 from the right is equal to the limit of f of x as x tends to 1 from the left which is equal to the limit of f of x as x tends to 1 by definition and that all of them are equal to 1 and this point would be 1 comma 1. Now uh, we note that as x approaches 1 from either right or left, the graph of the function f of x is equal to x cubed approaches the point 1 comma 1. And we observe again that the value of the function at x is equal to 1 also happens to be equal to 1. Meaning that f of 1 in this case is actually equal to 1, so you can write this as, this as f of 1 as well. So that's basically another illustration here. Now, as another illustration, let's, let's, let's consider illustration number three. Let's consider illustration number three. And we have, uh, we have the function f of x is equal to, f of x is equal to 3x. Now we want to find the limit of this function. We want to find the, the limit of 
the limit of f of x at x is equal to 2 at x is equal to 2 now at x is equal to 2 we can we can of course create a table of values of the function which is x and f of x and and therefore at x is equal to 2 let's say that this is x is equal to 2 and approaching 2 from the right hand side for example you would have 2.1 then getting closer to 2 you would have 2.01 for example then you would have for example 2.001 and then you would have and that's basically the closest that they have gotten to the number in the text then you can start from for example from 1.9 from this side and getting closer to 2 from the left um, so 1.9 or you can go for for example 1.95 you can go for 1.99 you can go for 1.999 and in all of these cases if you calculate for example this is three times this, this this value you would have basically three times uh 1.99 1.1.9 which gives you 5.7 1.95 times three would be 5.85 5.85 1.99 would be 5.97 5.997 this would be 6.003 this would be 6.03 and this would be 6.3 and You can see that as we are getting closer to and closer to 2 from the right and from the left, the values of the function are getting closer and closer to 6 from the right and 6 from the left, 5.7, 5.8, 5.9, 5.997. Um, so, so basically, so then you can say that the limit of f of x as x approaches 2 from the right is equal to the limit of f of x as x approaches 2 from the left is equal to basically 6 and that is of course equal to the limit of f of x as x approaches x approaches 2 and the graph of course of this function would show you the same thing f of x is equal to 3 times x would be would be 1 and uh, and then uh, 1 2 and 3 meaning that your 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 um, slope is 3 meaning that for for one unit of horizontal change you have three units of vertical change which gives you this point and then your function is this function over here goes through 0 comma 0 and this point as well now at x is equal to 2 the value of your function is definitely 1 2 3 4 5 of course this is supposed to be 6 but my my uh, graduations my scales are not are not uh, perfect meaning that at at when x is equal to 2 then f of 2 would be 3 times 2 which is equal to 6 that means that then this point should be technically 2 comma 6 and therefore this point should be 2 comma 6 and therefore from the and this is x is equal to 2 as you're getting closer to 2 from the right and from the left the values of the function are getting closer and closer to the point 2 comma 6 which means they're getting closer and closer to 6 And here again, we can write basically that is actually 
6 is actually the value of the function at x is equal to 2, which is f of 2, basically, right? Which is f of 2. So let's, uh, we have a couple more illustrations here. Illustration number 4, 5, and so on and so forth. So we will do them in the next video. I'll see you in the next video, and thank you.